Hi, I'm Ben Levicki. I am uh, the AI Solutions Architect for Cleveland Cavaliers, and my main responsibilities are, you know, bringing um, AI solutions into the sports uh, world, both on the players and the business side. Yeah, for our team, uh, you know, having kind of thin resources on the development team, um, we really kind of struggled with bringing machine learning and large language models. You know, decided to go with Shikudo because it allowed us to 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 augment our data science team. Yeah, I think probably the first thing that comes to mind is you know how do we host a stream with, yeah. and that was something that we really struggled with internally. And um, you know, Shikudo really makes it easy and able to do it. And, you know smooths out the development cycle and allows me to focus on the outputs rather than how are we going to host this you know how you know what how can we scale this application for, for more users how can we um you know kind of democratize ai across the across the organization with a, a you know a good mixture of use cases yeah so it was uh i think it was like a tuesday morning and um, I had to go down um, and actually download uh, a Python script onto someone's uh, computer who's never used Python before and get a bash script to, to run uh, <laughs> to run this shell operation and you know make sure this Python environment was set up and you know, I had about 15 minutes to prepare and I'd never done that before and now uh, you know wish good I can just be like hey here's this link like go have at it let me know how it works. Um, yeah, having to do something like that uh, is very much kind of outside of my realm as a data scientist. You know, I'm not really too focused on development operations or um, you know machine learning operations. I really want to you know really focus on the outputs, and Shikuda really helps me um, you know be able to provide the best um, product for our internal use cases as well as explore external use cases as well. Um, not only just doing like a streamlit app, but also you know providing APIs to our current dev team to help them integrate um, large language models and machine learning um, algorithms into our current processes. They were definitely very happy with me being able to be like, hey, here's this link. Um, let me know what you think here. And you know, Shikudo's platform really allowing me to you know, provide better updates for applications. So making, be able to make tweaks really fast and be able to serve those up really quickly without having to go through a dev resource. Um, and they, they might be in a meeting. And now I can just kind of, you know, go right away, straight from my script, push up to GitHub, and then, you know, relaunch my, my service um, and just be like, hey, yeah, retry the link now. Here's, here's your new feature. It really smooths out the entire process. It makes me feel like I have another person on my team um, that's really backing me up. Um, and also doing it you know, in a very efficient and effective way, both monetarily and just time-wise. Yeah, so we, we saw actually a couple of them. Uh, some people wanted to come in and help us build our own large language model you know, for fine tuning or build our own RAG system or, you know, hey, you, you have this machine learning model, great, we can, we can serve it, we can deploy it. But none of them really helps along full stack of data science, which is, you know, from development to, you know, product management, and really being able to observe um, how the application is performing. Um, so it, the way that Shikudo kind of ties in with all of the tools that we use already uh, really helps us, you know, create a full stack solution. With any tool, there's going to be, you know, a learning curve. And I felt like Shikudo's learning curve for me, not really having too much development operation experience. Um, I felt like, you know, within a couple of weeks, I was, you know, as an AWS expert, uh, being able to kind of you know, scale my applications on, on a Kubernetes instance and be able to deploy, um, train, and you know, serve applications as well. Yeah, Shikudo uh, makes me feel like I have a machine learning engineer in my back pocket and it really helps me go coast to coast. Um, with our ML and LLM solutions. In the last two months, we've really been able to uh, produce about four applications that kind of amount to about 100,000 in terms of uh, return on operation. So really efficiency gains um, that we're seeing there. Um, and now, you know, with that, with those small wins within our organization, it's really, you know, being able to go small wins up and running very quickly and into the hands of our um, end users, it's allowing them to come back with us 
and collaborate. Yeah, going from the realm of possibility with stakeholders, yeah. um, and then a few days later, getting something in their hands that's tangible, yeah. and allowing them to kind of be at the table in terms of those conversations, really creating a, a user experience that's more curated to them um, without having to go through you know long development cycles, um, you know, prioritization within the development team and everything really kind of smooths out um, you know, my, my communications with our, with our end users. Um, yeah, so I think it's really, you know, whenever you guys come out with a, you know, a different use case, just being able to you know, see those repos and be able to, you know, brainstorm ideas that are already possible and have like templates ready for me. You know, if you guys come out with a multimodal search, you know, I'm like, oh, that's something that's really interesting. That's something that's possible on this on this platform. And, you know, it feels like I have um, like an extra collaborator um, in the room where you guys are, you know, trying to help me use the platform and, and gain more value out of it, of course. Um, but having, you know, those use cases out there um, definitely really helps me determine like my roadmaps and also like, you know, the best way to go about my use cases. Larger organizations, of course, can, can benefit as well just by you know, not having to develop something like this internally um, and really kind of be able to you know, smooth out some of the, the kinks in the road there. Yeah, we're about 400 people. Um, we have a you know, business intelligence group, about 10, um, and a data operations team, about four, and as well as a DevOps team, about three right now. So we have a, actually, in terms of the, the MBA, we have a pretty large build out, um, but our, AI, our AI ML team is a team of two. Um, so that, that's probably pretty relatable um, to many organizations out there uh, across sports business um, that, that don't have the deepest um, teams, um, but you know, want to get the most value out of, out of the people they have. So I guess close the gap between point A and point B for organizations, allow, you know, able to get you know, value off, off, off the jump and then continue um, to not really have to worry about, you know, is my server going to go down? Is you know, is my application going to scale? And having to worry about a lot of the DevOps and ML ops uh, work there, and then you know, a lot of teams, you know, I want to start, I want to start leveraging you know, Nvidia GPUs. Um, and with this type of platform, we're able to you know, pretty succinctly um, you know, upscale our uh, machine learning outputs to like a NVIDIA GPU, uh, if we see that necessary. I, I see down the line, we may have some use cases for that. And I really like having that, um, that flexibility there. Now, I'd, I'd say just give it a try. Um, there's you know a lot of benefits within the platform and a lot of uh, doors that it opens up um, that you, know, you may be looking at, you know, your one or two use cases right now. But um, I think the platform really allows for you to solve for the you know six or seven different use cases that are down the line that you're not even that you're not thinking of already. It's you know it's a platform that's really going to help um, you know accelerate your machine learning and LLM adoption across the organization as well as your development cycle, um, and really being able to kind of smooth out um, that process in general. So you know if, if you're if you're having any types of struggle with the you know hosting and serving applications, training and deploying um, machine learning models. Um, this is kind of like a, a platform for you um, and really kind of helps guide you from, you know, you know the very first step all the way to you know, deploying and, and serving applications um, to end users.